Hello, my name is Alexey Preobrazhensky. I'm Beamline Manager at the Flexspace Beamline at Max4. Our Beamline is serving several user communities, surface science, material science and low density matter. With its two branches and four focal points, it can accommodate up to four end stations with very different sample environments. Our main techniques are high resolution, core level photoelectron spectroscopy and X-ray absorption spectroscopy. In the last year, the beamline has come a long way from the very first light to the regular user operation. We have finished beamline commissioning and have fully characterized its performance in terms of flux, energy resolution, and beam spot size. We also have cleaned carbon contaminations from the beamline optics. And now I'm proud to say that the measured values uh, of the beamline characteristics are closely matching the theoretically predicted figures. Furthermore, we have already participated in two user calls with around 30 proposals submitted in each call on average. On the surface and material science branch, we have at present one end station and one open port over there uh, for any user experiments. This end station is dedicated to XPS and NEXAFs on solid samples prepared either in situ or ex situ. Here we study uh, metal and uh, semiconductor surfaces and interfaces, molecular absorption and desorption phenomena, heterostructures, low dimensional materials, energy related materials, and even uh, samples sensitive to the radiation damage, like soft matter, because we can get uh, either focused or defocused beam on the sample. The end station has uh, several vacuum chambers uh, with all typical facilities for sample uh, transfer, storage and treatment. Samples can be heated above 1000 degrees C and they can be cooled down to either liquid nitrogen or liquid helium temperatures. Temperatures can be measured directly on the sample, which is very important for many experiments, and uh, any temperature evolution can be programmed and controlled. Different material sources can be mounted uh, on the end station uh, behind gate valves without breaking vacuum. And there are uh, gas cabinets and gas lines uh, for providing gases to the experiment. On the detector side, we have a high resolution photoelectron energy analyzer, partial electron yield detector for NEXAFs spectra, and the new partial fluorescent yield detector also for NEXAFs, but specifically on electrically charging samples. In general, FlexPS beamline is very NEXAFs oriented beamline. It delivers a smooth, well calibrated and highly resolved absorption spectra in the entire energy range of the beamline. We plan to replace the analysis chamber and the analyzer with a more modern instrument allowing uh, angle resolved photo emission measurements, something we cannot do today with the old instrument. Also, we plan to improve NEXAPS capabilities by introducing continuous energy scans. It should reduce drastically the measurement time per spectrum and also uh, to improve NEXAFS capabilities by providing users with the already mentioned partial fluorescent yield detector. My name is Gunnar Örvall. I work as a beamline scientist here at the FlexPIS beamline, specifically at the low density matter branch of this beamline. This here is the photo emission end station of the low density matter branch. At the moment, we are running our liquid jet setup, which provides us possibilities to study the surfaces of liquids, especially aqueous, aqueous solutions. But we also have setups for gases and a molecular beam source, which can provide either supersonic jet or uh, provide clusters through condensation. There is also a gas aggregation source for metal or semiconductor clusters, and we can even do solid sample systems using this introduction system at the back, which also has an introduction chamber for fast turnover. My name is Noelle Walsh, and I'm responsible for the ICE end station, which is a new mobile low-density matter end station that is currently installed at the open port of the FlexPress branch B. The acronym ICE stands for Ions in Coincidence with Electrons, and the name reflects the type of experiments that can be performed. Namely, the coincident detection of electrons and ions produced in a reaction. The end station is foreseen to accommodate more than one type of coincident spectrometer, and right now, a reaction microscope is installed. The REMI is in the final stages of commissioning and will have two operational modes. One, 
a Coltrums mode for use during single bunch delivery that employs a magnetic field for the confinement of higher energy electrons and the second mode for use during multi bunch delivery which employs higher electric fields and some lenses. ICE will soon be available to the gas phase community for investigations into the correlated dynamics that take place in a molecular cluster following photo excitation. You can find our contact information on the Max4 webpage and welcome to FlexPest. Thank you.